Okay, so I'm going to make a soup, a lovely, lovely veggie soup with some, some veg that looks a bit more attractive and some that is um, a bit wonkier and beautiful, a bit more beautiful in its um, unattractiveness, like that. <laughs> Just a little face, isn't it, that little beetroot? I find making soup like the most amazing prescription for feeling better um, because it just uses up what needs using up. You can make anything with soup. Everything's got a possibility and a second chance. Uh, I'm just gonna put some ghee in my pan, which is clarified butter. You can use coconut oil or whatever you like, so that goes in. Then the onions can go on, or I'd use leeks or whatever. Just something to make a lovely base. And you just rough chop because, you know, I'm gonna stick it all in a blender, so. These beautiful slash slightly, some people might think ugly vegetables um, that would probably be the last to get picked for the school team, last to get picked for the, at the supermarket run. They just need a really good scrub. Now they're looking fantastic again. They always look good, but we knew you had it in you. Look at that gorgeous color. A lot of us, I know my generation, we weren't taught how to cook at school. We weren't taught really about the growing and the effort that goes into growing I'm lucky because in my job I get to meet suppliers and producers and actually last year I went on a road trip up and down the UK and I curated this guide for the 30 most sustainable restaurants and I really got to understand the effort and the love and the care that goes into growing our vegetables in the UK and we have the best, we have the best produce. Love Food Hate Waste have got this really, really interesting positive bit of news. Um, the food industry is really doing its bit now. So compared to 2007, in 2019 we're saving £3.4 billion a year in not wasting food and saving 5 million tonnes of carbon dioxide, which is the equivalent of taking 2.2 million cars off the road. So that's really really good news. Um, and with the fashion industry, I feel like we can really, really take that same ethos. We really need to address our unhealthy imbalance between this need to buy and then this really sad need to throw away and start again. My mum, I feel now looking back, she taught me the most invaluable skill, which is you know, to go into the fridge and see possibilities instead of thinking I better go to the shops and buy something from fresh. Um, and her Filipino Catholic ways, you know, taught her, you know, you don't ever waste and, you know, and my dad, my army dad, you know, if there was an apple and it was rotten, but there was, you know, one little mouthful, a little corner that was available to be eaten, he'd make us eat that bit. The importance of never wasting, you never know what's going to happen. And even if life is peaceful from, for the rest of our lives, to be able to respect food, ration it, understand it, you know, reuse and it's just, it's just a win on every single level. And there's looking after what you've got and looking after extensions of you. So the food I eat is an extension of me and then nourishes me. The clothes I wear, the confidence they give me, the personality I put into them. All of these things are so important and they were once important to you. So why are we throwing them away now? I'm just gonna shove it all in now, actually. There's, there's something to, to learn from food and the way that we can reuse it and repurpose it and swap it and thinking about food karma and how we can do that with our clothes and you know someone's someone will love something that you might have fallen out of love with and I think that's always worth remembering there's um some incredible wartime posters that I love to look at because what they're saying is so powerful and makes sense now and actually relates to food and clothes and it's something like you know, buy with thought, cook with care, cherish what you've got, just cook enough, preserve what will keep. And those statements are so, so important. And I think, and I think we've lost them and it makes me really sad. And I think about how at school we, we were taught so much, but we weren't taught how to save better. So I'm just gonna put, normally actually you put the coriander seeds in before and you toast them and stuff, but I'm just gonna put them in now because I'm gonna blend it. Hope you like chilies, guys. So there you've got it, my carrot soup with my bit ugly, 
bit old, carrots, brought back to life, it's gonna be an amazing lunch. And just like with clothes, don't throw them away before you can bring them back to life and give them that second chance.